I thought it was mayonnaise. I don't think it's mayonnaise. I really can't remember. My name is Super Unsexy, and we're here at Walmart because today we're going to the biggest Walmart clearance section in the world. I'm here in front of Walmart early in the morning. As you can see, there's like nobody here. But today in this video, we're going to hang out. We're going to a ton of Walmarts. Literally, we're visiting 11 Walmarts in this video, plus a mystery store, 12 stores total. Think of it as two friends hanging out looking for Walmart clearance. Walmart secret clearance, Walmart hidden clearance, Walmart amazing deal. And as a bonus, we're going to stop to get some food along the way. I'm going to make something low carb for everyone when you get home. And I'm actually going to catch someone recording me inside a store. It was super she uncomfortable. Kept recording me with her phone. I caught her. And we might sing. We just might sing. Yeah, we'll probably sing. Let's go. There's so much excitement in this video, so don't go anywhere. Sit tightly. I I will treat you rightly. Thank you so much for being here. We're inside of Walmart number one, and the first thing I want to do is show you an example of Walmart hidden clearance. And I want to use a strategy that I often use. It's called clearance mind sequence. What you want to do is you want to pay attention and look for the clues and the theme surrounding a regular clearance tag. A great example would be right here in the sporting goods section near the massagers. This one has a clearance tag on it. None of the other ones are marked clearance, but that means we should scan the other ones with the Walmart app, which is 100% free. So this says $39, and when I scan it with the Walmart app, it's only going to be $30 and some change. So that's Walmart hidden clearance. And this is just the tip of the iceberg, folks. I'm going to show you how to save tons of money in this video. Like, look upstairs. You always need to check upstairs when you see a clearance tag. So when we go upstairs, I see the Shiatsu massager. There's not one downstairs, only upstairs. So come on down, Johnny. We're going to rip it down and scan it with the Walmart app. And guess what? This little bad boy is only $20. It's a Walmart hidden clearance price, and there's just a bunch of them sitting up there and no one knows it. I gave it a hard look as I held it in my hands, and I thought, should I surprise the missus with this massage machine? And I decided, yeah, we're going to do it together. We're going to bring this back home to my wife in this video. But first, I see a clearance sign over here. It's a Firefly play set, only $150. And then I see some more clearance signs. If you've seen my videos before, you know I'm on a mission. I see these $75 bumper cars. And then I see the aroma diffusers for $12 on this end cap right down the street. And if you know anything about Walmart clearance hunting, end caps are just super hot in general. Always check the end caps. They put things on the end caps inside of Walmart because they want to push them out the door. They know you're going to see them first. I turn around and see this pioneer. Pioneer Woman canister set for only $5. And I swear, the Pioneer Woman pretty much owns Walmart. I see her face everywhere. I take a step into the main runway, and this is what we call bada bing, bada boom action. When the clearance signs are just everywhere, right in front of your face, it's way too easy. On the first end cap, I see these shark vacuums for only $200. And I've been seeing vacuums drop for a little bit now, so keep your eyes out for those. Then when I do a little shimmy over to the left, we see for $100, they have the heart stick vacuum. More for like if you're working outside or if you're one of those really handy man, handy woman types. I did the Cupid shuffle down the aisle and found even more clearance signs. We have all these pumps. We have the electric pump for $5. We have the manual pump for only $2. It's regularly $10, so that is a good price. Then we have the $40 sports net if you want to practice. I decided to head back to the original clearance sign, and I saw this sign that said $150 on clearance. As I approached, I realized it was a memory foam mattress by Serenity. Really cool. I mean, memory foam mattresses are pretty sick, I think. And then we had these light bulbs for $2, regularly $10, something I would stock up on if you think you would use it. Unsexy, show us more. Whew, relax, my guy. I got you covered. Back here, I see a yellow clearance sign for $75. It's a microwave, regularly $119. Not the best price, but when you need a microwave, you'll pay it. That's not enough, my guy. Who brought the cool kid to the party? All right, I hear you. I hear you. Let's go. Let's find some stuff. This woman has clearance racks of clothing just hanging out all over the store. I even see $1 shirts like the Save the Mermaid shirt. You know you love it. Then I see some $2 stuff. We have some Friends shorts. There's a lot of stuff. Then I saw this beautiful air fryer. And no, seriously, the brand's actually called Beautiful. See, it's right on the box. It says $99 on the tag. When I scan it with the Walmart app, it's only $69 on hidden clearance. I couldn't be any better than this. I love you. Beautiful air fryer. Also, check upstairs. Look at that. So many beautiful air fryers up top. So I'm strolling around, and I come to the conclusion, Pioneer Woman is haunting my life inside of Walmart. Look at this woman. She's everywhere. This little hidden end cap. It says it's only $10 for this slim insulated koozie. I think you put, like, chicken soup inside of it. You scan it, it's only $6. Secret hidden clearance. And remember how we kicked off this video, and I told you always look for clues when searching for clearance? Well, these heated blankets say $22 on the end cap. You scan them with the Walmart app. They're only $20. It's only a couple of dollars off, but that's the clue. So I searched around and I found a ton of heated blankets on clearance. Some of them are like really, really deep discounts. Hey, I need a favor real quick. I want as many people as humanly possible to see this video. So please take two seconds and smash the like button to let YouTube know this is a quality video. Also, make sure you subscribe right now if you haven't. And please share this video with anyone and everyone you know. Tell them this guy is kind of crazy, but this guy is kind of cool. I wish more people shared my videos. I think they're really great. This is what I looked like when I recorded that whole little segment. People thought I was making a TikTok, but no, y'all are so precious. I was doing it for you because I love and appreciate you supporting my channel. Moving right along, I noticed that the toothbrush section in this Walmart had a robust amount of clearance, tons of stuff, toothpaste, toothbrushes, all that elegant, great stuff, the mouthwash, so make sure you brush your teeth, that's all I can say. 
So typically one of the first places I will go when I get inside of a Walmart is the clearance section, but we haven't even been to the clearance section in this Walmart, so let's bulldoze her in there. When I get to the clearance sections, I tend to move quickly and I might not say something with my words, but make sure you see it with your eyes. If you see something interesting, you need to stop the video, check it out. But for the most part, I'm just gonna show you the highlights in these clearance sections. And you see these fishing combo kits? Well, these are $15 and here's a fun fact. I'm actually wearing a fishing hat right now and I don't fish. I don't really know much about fishing, but this hat's gonna tie into the rest of the video in a really fun way. I'm gonna show you where I bought this hat and how you can buy something on hidden clearance at the mystery store. You don't wanna miss it. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a blast. And you obviously know I don't have a cat because I was surprised to see cat broth. I didn't even know that was a thing. I think it's kinda cool. The pioneer woman coming through with the cat broth. Pioneer woman is everywhere. I see her face all over Walmart. And this is where the fun actually starts to begin, so pay attention. I'm here in this part of the clearance section. I see the Cool Willies body wash for men. That's all right. I'm looking around. There's all these different body scrubs and whatever. And then I see this waffle maker just kind of hanging out in the back. So this little bad boy scanned up for only $1 Walmart hidden clearance. And this is where the story gets interesting because just a couple days ago, my wife literally told me if you see one of those $1 waffle makers, make sure you pick it up for me. So we're going to buy it. I'm actually going to show you how to pay for hidden clearance. These items will just ring up at the register. You don't even have to talk to an employee. They will just ring up. And sit tight, my friends. Things are about to get good. Seriously, it's going to get good. I'm that kind of guy that walks out of Walmart with a massage maker and a waffle machine. What if I change the name of my YouTube channel to Massages by Waffle? I'll play this character Waffle and I'll just go around with a massage machine asking people if they want massages in the parking lot. Excuse me, your arm looks quite tight. Would you like a massage? My name is Waffle. You think people would do it? All right, I got to call my wife Kathleen and let her know that we just got that waffle maker. What's up, baby? Hey, babe. Yo, what's up? Guess what? I found one of those $1 little waffle makers you told me to get. Wow, sweet deal. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Grab some pickles, shredded mozzarella cheese, and some ranch dressing too. Really? I'm gonna make something low carb for everyone when you get home. Okay, all right, babe. I know you're not there no more. So she hung up on me, but she loves me because she's gonna make us that delicious thing at the end of the video. I don't know what it is. Stick around to the end of the video if you wanna see what my wife makes with the mini waffle maker. It's gonna be low carb, and she doesn't even know we got a massage maker. We got a waffle machine and a massage maker. Let's go. Walmart number two, baby. I mean, look, you could be watching a million other things right now, but you decided to watch this video. I don't take it for granted. I always try to give 100% in my videos. They can't stop us. They can't stop either. Either of us. Let's go. All right, we're here at Walmart number two and the wifey said we have to get shredded mozzarella, pickles, and ranch sauce. I'm gonna wait till the very last Walmart to get that because I don't want the cheese to get all stink -ay. And if you've never been to Massachusetts before, people in Massachusetts don't say stinky, we say stink -ay. I don't know if you knew that. Most people don't know that. Get out of the road, you're so stink -ay. Look at you, you stink -ay face. Come on, keep going. We're very nice and respectable people, but we say stink -ay. not stinky, stink -ay. I honestly can't wait to see what she makes for us because I'm getting hungry already. So I marched into Walmart number two and the music started playing again because there was some clearance items over here near the other entrance. There's some storage items for $15. I've been seeing lots of storage on clearance at Walmart this time of year. Then we have some sandals for $2. You can't beat the $2 sandal action. And then we went to the clearance section. The first thing I saw was these $1 doggy bandanas. And I just gotta say, these pets must be looking cute these days. I didn't even know they had stuff like this. Poking around, we see some Walmart clearance baby stuff. Then I see multicolored tumblers, lots of different hand soap related items. I see another tumbler and then I see lots of soda stream items. I didn't even know they still had soda stream out. The machines on clearance, the accessories are on clearance. So if you're into soda stream, go check it out. I've never had one before. And remember, effort matters. Sometimes you have to move the box to find the clearance tag. We have clip ons, we have a flask, we have a floor scraper right here in the flesh. I see these silicone bibs with a little scoop in the front to catch the food. How cool is that? My friends, this next part's kind of hard to talk about. My wife kind of offended me the other day. I don't know. Let me know what you think. It's about the Easter section in this hat. So look, I'm in the Easter section right now and my wife Kathleen the other day saw this hat inside of a store and she was like, you should get that hat because you know, that color matches your personality. And I instantly said, what, Easter egg color? Because this is an Easter egg color hat, is it not? That's an Easter color. She said, no. What I meant was your personality is unique and it's a unique color. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this an Easter egg color hat? I think it is. I decided I need to talk more in these videos inside of the store so I can be more of the guy you want me to be. Everybody wants me to be something I'm not, but I want to be the guy you want me to be. I don't want to be the guy I want to be anymore. I just want to be the guy you want me to be. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm obsessed with being the guy I want to be. And I'm the guy who wants to look for Walmart clearance. You see that right over there? $3. Let's go. 
given that I keep seeing Walmart clearance clothing everywhere at these Walmarts, there's a part of me inside that's like, I should really buy something that looks nice. I should buy like a shirt with a little button up in the front, maybe look like a snack. Maybe my wife will make us a snack when we get home, but I'll come home looking like the snack anyways. That's what I was thinking. It'll come to fruition later on in the video. I thought about picking up one of these $1 shirts, but I want to find something that has a few buttons in the front. I want to look cute out here. I want to look like something you would find in a museum. I say the coolest stuff. I'm sorry. But now we have to talk about respecting your neighbors. I have the perfect example. You see these clearance tags? Well, I hear the neighbor train coming along and look right next door. Right next door, we have this leopard print beautiful bucket bag next to the clearance tags. And when I scan this one, it's supposed to be $30. It's only $18 Walmart hidden clearance. Now, what if your neighbors live in a duplex? There's nothing wrong with a duplex. I love me a good duplex. So right next door, the other next door neighbor, we scan it. It's $30 down to $18 Walmart hidden clearance. Now, what if they live in a triplex, a trueplex? I don't know what it's called, but one of those three family homes. Only $18 secret hidden clearance. And I hear it again. I hear the fourplex. I hear the fourth neighbor down here, down the street. When I scan it with the Walmart app, it's also going to be hidden clearance. All of these bags are on hidden clearance. Make sure you respect thy neighbor. I don't know how many times I have to tell people shopping for clearance is a game of respect. Do not disrespect the areas. Do not disrespect where you see the clearance tags. There's always clues all around you. Respect everything that you see. Learn how to add up the clues. Learn how to recognize the themes and the patterns inside of your store because every store is different. It all comes down to how the store managers move and how the employees move and that's how you find your opportunity. Respect what you see, not what you hear. So I'm out here looking for Walmart clearance, extremely hard, and it brought me to the food section, and it gave me this idea. I want to put this in the video. This is a frozen pizza hack. This is my favorite frozen pizza of all time. I really hope someone watching this will try this. Buy this pizza. I like the pepperoni one, but it's like Motor City Pizza, Detroit. Most Walmarts have it. And then buy a small can of beans. I usually buy Bush's original. Sprinkle the beans on top of the frozen pizza before you bake it in the oven. It is so delicious. Live a little. Live on the edge. Seriously, if you're watching this video and you get bored, make that pizza and let me know how it is. That's my favorite pizza, I swear to you that is my favorite pizza we're changing lives out here and melting faces with that recipe i guess what i really want to ask is who's even still here watching this video if you're watching this video right now let me know by telling me in the comments stink hey my man man you are stink hey and I may not be perfect, but I definitely do it. I shop so hard, do you want to get to it? Call me Mr. Stink K. Call me Mr. Stink K. Because I'm shopping with you all day. Call me Mr. Because I'm shopping with you. We're going to Walmart number three. They can't stop us. Everybody out here getting deals. Everybody out here getting deals. We're here at Walmart number three, and we're going shopping today, folks. You see my super unsexy energy right here? When I hit the energy, the music turns on, the energy gets out of control, and we start looking for those deals. One, two, three, super unsexy energy. I am sorry. I do apologize for what I just did back there, but I have never seen a clearance section this large in a Walmart before. I'm super excited because I've been in quite a few Walmarts in my day. Initially, I couldn't contain myself and I just started grabbing stuff like a kid in a Walmart candy clearance store. And then I decided I need to see what's going on here. So I walked around to the back of these aisles and I saw it's a total remodel. They're remodeling this Walmart. So a lot of this clearance stuff is just stuff they're trying to push out of the door. And there's even clearance on the other side of the clearance aisle. I'm going to try to show you guys the good stuff that I find. I don't want to show you everything. We'll be hanging out here for like 35 years. The point is, there's a ton of opportunity for clearance in a Walmart that's being remodeled. So if your Walmart's being remodeled, keep your eyes on the store because you never know when everything's about to drop. All right, who's ready to do it? The longest Walmart clearance aisle I've ever seen in my entire life. We're going to a ton of Walmarts. Literally, we're visiting 11 Walmarts in this video, plus a mystery store, 12 stores total. There's still so much ahead after this Walmart. I even make a mistake at Walmart number 10, so if you want 
want to see me embarrass myself, don't go anywhere. I see this adorable end table for $20 and then a $95.54 inch basketball hoop. But I think it's time to give the actual clearance aisle the full court press. And the first thing I saw was a toy called Beast Wars. And it made me think I should put the YouTuber Mr. Beast in this video. We can do a little collab. So he'll be in the video later on. I saw a bunch of these security light bulbs. And then I saw bins full of sunglasses marked down to $1. It made me think of Post Malone, the musician. So I'm going to put him in the video later on too. I see some Pioneer Woman fabric for only $3. She's all over the place. Do it yourself, Cole saw it makes for only one dollar so look as someone who spends a lot of time inside a walmart and understands the walmart price system i will say this it didn't take me too long to realize that a lot of the stuff just sitting here on the clearance rack wasn't even on clearance at all a lot of the stuff was full price or it wasn't even marked clearance it was just sitting here you know i've come to the realization that a lot of this stuff actually isn't even on clearance it's just a huge clearance aisle and it's kind of a catch-all for things that needed to be moved because the store has limited space it makes sense it's actually quite clever because when i see a clearance sign i come I'm running and sometimes there's people who even if it's just a regular priced item they will assume it is a good deal it is on clearance because it's near that clearance sign so some of the stuff is not on clearance but we're gonna keep looking around there is still plenty of clearance here don't get me wrong we just have to look a little hotter for it we have the steering wheel cover only one dollar regularly 16 dollars we have the pumple apkin mumpkin wax mounts anyways then we have tons of air filters for only one dollar like they're getting rid of all their air filters i guess because tons i mean tons of air filters only one dollar i see some caution tape because they know i'm dangerous in the clearance section i feel like i'm standing Standing inside of that drawer in your kitchen area where there's just random elastics and batteries where everyone just throws all their extra spare stuff. I feel like that's what it's like here because a lot of this stuff is just jumbled. Lots of automotive stuff seems to be on clearance. And keep this in mind. Look at this tool chest. The clearance tag and the regular tag have the same price on it. I see this heated mossy oak seat cushion for $14.98 and lots of other camping related items. I see a thumb stabilizer on clearance and then all these lit Jolly Rancher energy drinks are interesting but they're not on clearance. And also this tone it up protein cookie not on clearance. However, this nine elements did Dish soap liquid is only $1. Make sure you scan it if you see it. I see a tie and belt valet made by Rubbermaid, only $10. Loctite power grip from $10 all the way down to $4. And I also see some beautiful wall scones for only $15. Next, I saw some fitness equipment, and it reminded me that my wife Kathleen's going to make us a snack later on. So if you want to see us eat, look at me massaging myself while we eat the snack. So make sure you're there for it. I want you to join us. We can just all eat together in any weather. At the other end of the clearance aisle, there's boatloads of paint because, of course, paint takes up a lot of space. They want to get rid of it they're doing a remodel to the other side my family you are my family let's shop so on the other side like i said not everything is actually on clearance so it's on you to kind of pick through it and figure out what the good deal is but that's part of the fun. So back here in the back streets, the first thing that caught my eye was all these water filtration devices. We have everything all the way down to Brita. So if you like your water clean, you want to get over here to Walmart, shop the Walmart clearance water filtration systems. Water is so good for all of us. These lens wipes are not on clearance. This filter is on clearance. You know the deal. But after searching, I finally found some hidden clearance. I'm going to knock on this cooler right here. Ready for it? I'm going to do it. Knock, knock, knock. Who's home, baby? Guess who's home? It's me, the hidden clearance doctor. 2788 on the tag. Scan it with the Walmart app. Nice. 1984. You can't stop me. Am I the only one having fun here? Y'all need to loosen up and smile a little bit. If you have oxygen in your lungs, it's a good day. I see the Igloo Sports Cooler for $24.97, some plumbing supplies, and my friends. From the top to the bottom, what's my name? Say my name. Call me. Super unsexy. You got it, baby. Right here, we have some more fitness supplies. I scanned it with the Walmart app. It's on hidden clearance. Only $62. Now, back to the top, we have this chin-up bar, $34. And here's a fun fact. Did you know that a Walmart under remodel hosts a dance-off for the locals on Wednesdays from 1 to 3 p.m. That is not true at all, actually. When everyone stopped dancing, I saw this trampoline. I decided to scan it with the Walmart app. It's actually on hidden clearance for only $139. And how about this game? Exploding Kittens Recipes for Disaster. Who plays that game? Never heard of it. Who even plays the thing, though? I never stopped believing in myself for one second in this clearance section. I continued to look for the gold. Eventually, I saw some yellow clearance tags. I saw them on that bike tire. And then I saw the chocolate bar kit for $1.50. I love myself a chocolate bar. And then I saw that the was the board. biggest clearance section I've ever seen inside of a Walmart in my entire life and as you know i've been inside a lot of walmarts but we're here in my section this section matches my hat believe it or not and we're just getting started don't go anywhere there's so much more ahead so i'm noticing in the comments a lot of you are asking where i actually bought this hat so before we go to walmart number four let's make a little pit stop and i'll show you where i picked up this bad boy Hey everyone, we're here in front of Bass Pro Shop and so many of you in the comments right now are like, bro, you looking so handsome, you're super handsome. So let me give you some really quick fashion advice. If you live in the Houston area, you know, in the morning it can be extremely cold and then in the afternoon it can get quite spicy. So what I do is I wear basketball shorts underneath my sweatpants. That way you can swap out really quickly. Oh, and also wear Crocs, Crocs are key. You made
And that, my friends, is how you become super unsexified. Let's go in the Bass Pro Shop. Cheers. The Great American Outdoor Store. Welcome fishermen, hunters, and other liars. Other liars? It really says that. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. All right, so the thing I love about Bass Pro Shop is they have the cheapest hats in the world, and they're nice hats. I have like three of these hats right here. I think I have five of the hats. But as you can notice, these hats are not Easter color like this. The Easter color hat, my friends, is way back there on the Easter wall. Let me show you. Serious question right now, is this or is this not Easter yellow? This is Easter egg yellow, correct? And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, you see how the price is $7.99? What do you think about this being on hidden clearance? Could this hat be on hidden clearance? Let's go find out. This is a $7.99 hat. Look at it, right on the price tag, $7.99. There's nowhere that it says it's a cheaper price. Let's see if it's on hidden clearance. How you doing today? Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Appreciate it. You know, I'm a pretty reckless individual. I don't hunt, I don't fish. You know, I'm a pretty reckless individual. I don't hunt, I don't fish. But I love me some Bass Pro Shop, and Bass Pro Shop just happens to have lots of great hidden clearance. So my friends, if you're looking for them deals, don't be afraid to check out the Bass Pro Shop. You can't say this isn't an Easter color hat. It's an Easter color hat. Hello? Yo, babe, what's up? I gotta tell you what I just did. No, 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 babe. Throw some respect on my name. Throw some respect on my name, babe. You won't believe what I did today. Are you coming home with it? I need all this I know. Pickles, mozzarella, ranch dressing. We're gonna do it. Walmart number four, baby. What is this? So I'm driving to Walmart number four. So I'm driving to Walmart number four, and I see these cars with these signs on top that say scan for the furniture store. Has anyone ever seen this before? This is a bold, bold tactic. I think I'm gonna go buy a couch after seeing that. What's up, family? We're here at Walmart number four. And if you're one of the amazing individuals that's still watching this video, let me know by dropping me a comment right now that says, why would I leave? Actually, type it like this. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Hey, yo. Yep. Why, why, why? Nah, that would be hard to type. Wave to the people, let them know. Let them feel your presence. Tell them, four Walmarts deep, everyone. Four Walmarts deep. Actually, can we drop the energy? Where's that energy? Drop it, drop it, drop it. Here we go, here we go. You see this energy right here, ready? One, two, three, four Walmarts deep. I lost my way. All right, is this a game? Is this a game? No one told me about this. Is this a game? That's new. I haven't seen that before. I love Charlie's. I love it so much. I like their teriyaki chicken sandwich. Someone cook me lunch. We've been shopping forever. All right, so in the clearance section at Walmart number four, we're going to get right to it. I see a pressure cooker, and then I see a little Barbie set. Then I see a Thomas the Train set. Lots of toys, lots of baby items. We have the Cassie for $169, and we have this baby swinger, soother swing, $99. We have the Paw Patrol car seat, $135, the Paw Patrol toy, the Boggle toy. And my friends, I've been seeing this $150 tricycle to go for $35 just sitting at Walmart for weeks. We have the Black & Decker Tool Shop for $37, and Barbie is a lot like the Pioneer Woman. She is everywhere. Now, I've shown this Batman toy for $20 in my prior two videos, so you, you gotta really subscribe to my videos, watch all my videos. I'm wildly fun to hang out with. We've got that Blue's Clues musical playland and Kinetic Sand that shimmers. The Minion Play-Doh set for $11.22. I see a Tinsel Bike Candle Bar Pom Pom and a bunch of LOL OMG dolls. And again with the Barbie, this woman can do anything. She's everywhere. I went on to do a little backflip to the other side of the clearance section because there's another clearance section. I landed on my feet. I saw this trampoline. I saw these play sets for children. I saw the Thomas and Friends toy set. I saw this baseball net. If you want to pitch a baseball, you can practice. Only $25. I saw this trash barrel for $43 and lots of hair care products. Not gonna lie. I feel like I've been seeing these specific candles everywhere. We have a $7 flashlight for the outdoors person in your life. I'm gonna do a little knock-knock on the masks and the hand sanitizer. Why not? And this is pumpkin spice hand cream. My wife would go 
go crazy. These umbrella chairs are hanging out for a cool $10. But if I'm being honest with you, this Walmart was sort of a bust. I really looked hard for all the other clearance I could find. I saw more clothing, but how much clothing can I really show some people? I'm out here wandering because I don't want to say I made the ride over to this Walmart for no reason. So I'm looking for any clearance sign or tag, and then I see a tag in the distance. I'm super excited. I marched right over to it, and guess what? It was just one of those candles again. I couldn't believe it, but you know what happened? Sometimes a Walmart is dry. It can't all be gravy, and this was just dry. But my friends, if you think I gave up, you don't know me at all. I saw these 35-piece meal prep cases. It says $38. I know that's not true. There's no way they're $38. I scanned it with the Walmart app. It's $8.38. Hidden clearance, baby. Now watch this pot. This pot is cute. Five, where's the energy at? Bring that energy down, you sexy. It looks good. Look at this little cutie right here. Ready? Let's go. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. You cut me loose and set me free. So if you remember earlier, I mentioned I thought about getting a shirt so I could look like a snack since my wife's making us a snack. So I sniffed out this $2 shirt with the buttons in the front. Check this out. It has the buttons in the front. So now I be coming home looking like the snack. I'm serious though. You think I'm kidding. I'm serious. Let's go. Let's be snack. All right, y'all need to simmer down. We're at Walmart number five. I want to get serious. Let's get down to business. I went right to the clearance section. First thing I saw was this template tool for when you're getting your hair cut, followed by an American flag pop socket kit and makeup galore. A whole little mixture of stuff. This Tonka truck's $40 down to $9. That was interesting. Some mason jar accessories and of course, a whole lot of toys. We just see toys all over Walmart because there's just an excess of toys. Now I want you to remember, y'all need to be kind to the Walmart employees. The Walmart employees are awesome. Without them, where would we shop, all right? They have an important job. I love the Walmart employees. I see a vanity light, some candles, some stick tiles, and then I see this pie pioneer woman. You are everywhere. Candle scent. The $7 Gatorade towel for the big game. 50 cent cups, 50 cent plates, $45 Nerf accessories, and a whole lot more. Toys and activity sets you know your kids will love. Then we have the wrestling ring of your lifetime. You could wrestle in that. It'd be a great time. $11.30. And guess what, folks? Candyland the game. Now let's take a moment and talk about televisions. The price of televisions is going to be slashed in coming days because they want want to get these televisions out as they get new inventory in so keep your eye on the televisions Look, I didn't find anything too earth shattering at Walmart number five, but that's okay because I'm gonna buy a two dollar shirt Then we're gonna go to Walmart number six because why not look into my eyes. Why not? We're about to go to Walmart number six, but I want to take a quick second and make this point. So when I was inside of that Walmart, I saw someone fall and I caught it on camera. There's been so many times inside of these Walmarts when I'm making my videos where I see things that I could probably make an entire video about and it might go viral. People might want to click to see what happened. But here's the thing. I will never, ever, ever in my entire life attach the super unsexy brand, the content, the vibe, anything to do with super unsexy. I will never attach that to degrading another human being. I don't believe in it. I believe in good vibes, loving other people. We're all just people. And I never wake up in the morning thinking how I can destroy someone else's day. I would rather never post another piece of content for the rest of my life than to post something that degrades another human being. It won't happen. I love and appreciate all of you that are watching this. We're all on the same level. I do not think I'm better than any single one of you watching this right now. And I am so honored to have your time as I make this video. Let's go to Walmart number six. It just felt like something I wanted to say in this moment. Good vibes only, super unsexy energy. Let's go. Come on, bring the energy. This is good energy right here. I love you guys. Walmart number six, baby. Inside of Walmart 6, we have coat hangers, pillows, and so much more. And remember, we're going to 11 Walmarts, but as I go to more and more Walmarts, the number of items I'll show you in each Walmart will reduce because I don't want to show you duplicates. I got to the clearance section, and I had a I'm going to do work mentality. I see the $1 stick selfie light, and I started seeing $1 toys in this clearance section, which made me think there could be other $1 toys just kind of hiding out. Mickey Mouse selfie light and a bunch of doggy sweaters on clearance at Walmart. Your dog would be looking quite dapper in that. I see charcoal face wash 
followed by $3 picture frames. Oh, and tea lights? We got those too. We actually got a lot of those. I see $7 wall art, soda stream accessories, and tons of beautiful, delicious nail items. Followed by $10 basketballs and self-adhesive vinyl planks for your flooring. Tons of flooring on clearance at Walmart right now. Even the luxury stuff by Mohawk. I see a Blue's Clues 48-piece magnetic picture game, the cozy hammock bundle set for only $25, air conditioner side panels, shopper image, heat massaging neck wrap, a pit boss grill cover combo kit, and then I found some Walmart hidden clearance on this big hitter batting tee. Only $7, my friends. But let's be honest, I didn't come here just to look at some lamps and some lamp shades on clearance, especially not at this price, or some backpacks, or some wall decals. I want to find something kind of cool. I mean, this is kind of cool. I love the Goonies, and these bean bags, they're all right for $5, but this is even cooler right here. Check out this toy. It says it's $11. It's only $1. Now, you know how much I preach respecting your neighbor, so I respected the neighbor. The next door neighbor was also $1. They're just a bunch of $1 people. I grabbed four for myself, but I told the people back here about the deal, and they filled up their carriages. I'm just reckless like that. I love to help people save money. Then I saw these big, huge jumbo bowling sets, scanned with the Walmart app, hidden clearance, only $10. Great deal. So I stayed the course, and I spent a good amount of time looking around in that clearance section, but basically, I'm just feeling reckless. I'm feeling like a reckless guy out on his own, looking for the good stuff. I see these logs for $7. I continue in a reckless way. I see these toilet seats for only $19. Quite reckless if you do ask me. Then back here I see a humidifier for $45. I am a reckless individual looking for clearance. I walked up on these $78 table tennis sets. I can find those for like $30 so I wouldn't buy that. But then right here I see this shark mop that I bought for $20 like two videos ago. It just goes to show you that every Walmart has different prices plain and simple. I even helped a Walmart employee buy one of these for $20. Make sure you subscribe so you can see videos like that. Don't forget. So my arms are full, so I'm gonna pay for these toys and show you they ring up for just one dollar. If you're new here, look, it just rings up at the register. It's all you gotta do. It's a piece of cake. I love cake so much, my friends. Walmart number six. We got a couple little treats here, but we still have so much more to go. Don't go anywhere if you're still here. You know the deal. Now we have to go to Walmart number seven. I just want to take a quick second and give a huge shout out to all the subscribers. All you lovely people that actually subscribe to this channel. Because I get a lot of comments like this. And I have nothing but love for you. But for those of you that have chosen the road of subscribing to this channel, I just want to say thank you so much because I put an extreme level of effort into these videos. I really mean it. I know I'm not the most handsome guy to look at. I know I'm not the funniest. I know I'm not the most anything. But you're here hanging out with me. You're respecting the videos I'm making. We get to be together. I just really like it. I really like that human connection of knowing you're watching this video. Let's go to Walmart number seven when traffic allows it, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it because they can't stop me. I mean, unfortunately they could probably stop you, but they definitely can't stop me. So roll with me and we'll get there. All right, we're here at Walmart number seven. And if you're still watching this video, you have to think about how adorable you must be. Only an adorable person is still here hanging out with this guy. That's the truth. So I walk into Walmart number seven and I immediately scoop up a box of these 50 piece coat hanger sets for only $5. And then I see a hundred dollar jukebox sitting in traffic made me quite tired. I don't know if you can see it, but the exhaustion is starting to set into my eyes. Seven Walmarts is a lot of Walmarts. Who goes to seven Walmarts? Well, I go to 10. I'm actually gonna go to 11. But yeah, you heard right. If you've watched some of my longer videos in the past, my wild side comes out when I get tired and I'm definitely tired in this video. So I do apologize for any ridiculous antics you may encounter. I'm definitely gonna embarrass myself. The first thing I see in this clear section is a double din boss car stereo followed by the disney princess tent and a halo bassinet for just nine dollars we have the mouthwash starter kit and the quip electric toothbrush i see the convert me swing two seat for seventy dollars and then we have a b-day fifteen dollars a basketball return mechanism for twelve dollars and look at this multi-cooker i thought this was interesting it says pioneer woman but there's a picture of rachel ray some chemicals to wash your patio furniture some interesting gillette razor blades a putty spatula we also have some handyman gloves and some baseball gloves and some sport braces for the athletic people out there. This dollhouse is only $10 and then the Battleship game is $5. I haven't played Battleship in a long time. Then I don't know if you're like me, but I thought these were real Pop-Tarts. They ended up being a card game. I really hope whatever my wife Kathleen makes for us at the end of this video, it is like Pop-Tarts because seeing these Pop-Tarts on these cards makes me hungry.
hungry. I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. I don't know if you could tell in that little clip, but by my eyes, I could tell by looking at it, I am so tired at that moment. And the thing is, when I'm tired, I think I'm hilarious for some reason. And I think everything I do is super funny. I laugh at my own jokes. So yeah, just be ready. Next, I go to the electronics section. This turntable says $49. Scan it with the Walmart app. It's only $39. Secret hidden clearance. And then I went to the food section and I saw these 50 cent cans of soup. I had to check out the dented one. It is tomato soup, but 50 cents is a good price. Now, if you're an OG viewer of my channel, you know I love diet Dr. Pepper cream soda. And here it is. I need to get it because I don't know. I love it. I haven't had it. Doing the thing. Doing the thing. Doing the thing. You know, when I act out like this, if you look closely in my eyes, you can tell it's because I'm exhausted. And when I'm exhausted, I get delirious. And when I get delirious, I get a little hilarious. And then I just get totally off this planet ridiculous. I got people yelling at me in the distance asking me if I'm perfect. And I'm like, yes, yes, I am perfect. Do you see this hat, this Easter egg hat? They're like, excuse me, sir. It's me with Walmart security in the distance. I'm like, yes. And the guy's like, are you perfect? I'm like, look, look at the hat. Are you gonna ask me that? Look at the hat. This guy over here is like, sir. I'm like, what? He's like, sir. I'm like, what? He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, buddy, you're stink hay. You're stink hay. I like a stink hay up in my truck. What you thinking? Do you wanna drive with me while I'm shopping? Everybody look at me, I'm robocopping. Trying to make the deals, trying to blop it. I don't understand why I'm tired. You bother. I got it. I got it. All right, Walmart number eight. As you can see, it's starting to get dark, so hang on with me, folks. I don't know what to do. We really need to find some good stuff here. Then we have to go and eat a little treat back at my house. Let's just do the whole thing. Do you guys, do you guys actually remember what I need to pick up? What is it like? Mozzarella, mayonnaise, cheese, cat, cabbage. So here we are inside of Walmart number eight in the clearance section. And I'm just gonna show you some of the highlights of things that I think are standout items you deserve to see. I see a bunt cake maker. Then I see some $3 styling wax for your hair, which I recommend you get if you wanna look like me. Check out my haircut. I see a four-way buffer. And then we have a huge sanitizing unit for $150. Plus blanket for $5. And then the Valentine's Day cookie pan says $9.98. Scan it with the Walmart app. It's actually gonna be on hidden clearance for only $2.49. I see a spill buster pet vacuum for $49. And another Nice selection of beach chairs for only $15. You know, there's a whole slew of stuff we've already seen before, like these heated blankets, but that's to be expected at this point. We've been to quite a few Walmart. So this is where it starts. I see an end cap and it has all these different waffle makers and bun cake makers for $4. But then I see a girl taking a video of me and I'm like, is she radio recording me or not? I wasn't sure. She was like smirking and taking pictures and texting and she followed me around the whole store. I was trying to lose her. I was like, will I lose this girl? She was acting like I was post Malone. Seriously, I'm super unsexy. I was like, is this, she gonna give up? She didn't stop. I was like, I just, I, I'm too tired for this i gotta get out of here all right everyone that was walmart number eight and unfortunately while i was in there there was some girl following me around and recording me and i just didn't like that vibe i'm sure she watches the videos or whatever i just don't like that vibe the reason why I had to leave Walmart 8 so abruptly was because there was this girl following me around and recording me with her phone from the distance. And I've had this happen to me before and I totally get it. You see someone from YouTube, you think it's cool, maybe you're shy, you wanna like take a video of me and text it to your friend or whatever. It just makes me super uncomfortable when I can see over here in the corner of my eye someone is recording me while I'm like looking for my stuff and trying to do my stuff. So if you see me out in public and you wanna say hey, say hey, what's up super unsexy or call me Sean, be like, what's up Sean, I watch your videos and I'll be like, hey, what's up, I'm just a rag normal guy. I'm no different than you. Don't treat me like a zoo animal. I just really don't like that. First thing I saw at Walmart number nine was a $35 oven roaster. And I was like, I'm not impressed. What is this, Target? I strolled my body into the clearance section and immediately these 99 cent keychains caught my eye, followed by some candles. And I'm feeling super reckless because I see a waffle maker that looks just like an iWatch, not an iWatch, an Apple Watch. It looks just like an Apple Watch, doesn't it? It looks just like an Apple Watch, but it's actually a waffle maker you can wear on your wrist. Super crazy. I see an air cooler and then I see my old championship belt, which I lost many years ago. There seems to be a plethora of camping related items up in this clearance section, but for the most part a lot of this stuff is stuff that we have already seen nothing that's going to excite you so i decided to deem this clearance section dry like toast so most of the stuff inside of that clearance section is the same stuff we've already seen at all the other stores but by the time you get to walmart number nine what can you expect here we are babe it's you and me walmart number nine and i see some socks seven dollar performance socks high performance crew socks then i see some accessory gift sets over here in the jewelry section for seven dollars also i see some multi wraps make sure you pick your best color and i see some watches for only three dollars next i 
found myself wandering around Walmart like a lost golden retriever. You can see it in my eyes, right? I have that golden retriever thing going on where I just want to make everyone happy, but I'm also so tired. And I realized this is the moment when normal people usually give up. They usually go home and take a nap, but I won't settle for normal because have you seen my hat? Look, I know what you're saying. I can hear you in the background. Super unsexy. Just go home. But I'm one of those guys. When I say I'm going to do something and I put it in my mind, I have to do it. So I can't give up until I do 11 Walmart. So who's with me? Who's going to go the distance? Who's going to stick around all 11? Come on, let's get it done. Actually, here, I need some energy. I really need some energy. Bring it down. Let's go. Drop it. Drop it, baby. Drop it, baby. Here we go. Look at this one. This is a cute little guy right here. Let's do it. Ready? One, two, three. I don't know what to say. If I had to guess, I think they could probably stop you, but they definitely can't stop me. I'm not stopping. Here we are, Walmart number 10, and I wanna come clean to you before I forget. Remember earlier in the video when I said I didn't want the cheese to get all niste? The truth is, people in Massachusetts don't say niste, they say nasty. That's so nasty. Why are you being so nasty? Get out of the road, you're nasty. They say stuff like that. I'm super tired and forgetful. Yes, I'm a little delirious over here. Get out of the road, you're being nasty. Beep, beep. You're nasty. Come on, you're nasty. What are you doing? You're nasty. Believe it or not, I have the accent, but as a person from Massachusetts, I'm actually quite tame. I'm, I'm more like nice and soft. They would probably say I'm soft. Like, he's a softy. I'm definitely not stopping my car and calling people nasty. Put it that way. Let's go. <laughs> you're nasty. What's up, babe? We're here inside of Walmart. I see the Wild Willie's body wash, the Pro Stainer tool, lots of different Barbie stuff, and the LOL dance-off card. I see a power sink charger for $5 and a Ryan's World vacuum for $12.50. And this insulated poncho is not too shabby. This ladder stand is $80 off. I see a car seat cover kit and an actual car seat all on clearance. But my friends, it's not enough. And when I say not enough, I'm talking about my energy level is not enough. So I need to drop the energy over here when no one's looking. I don't want to disrupt the customers, but check this out. I'm going to hit this energy i'm gonna go insane honey we home so here's the deal now that i have energy i found these two dollar shorts and these ten dollar dress shirts very very nice but over here i see a clearance sign and you know what's on it it's not much but when i walked over there it was a very attractive slipper sandal leopard type for two dollars one dollar socks and a 65 dollar smart clock but who am i trying to kid look at my face you made it through 10, but can you make it through 11? If you can get through Walmart number 11, you're a pretty special person, I have to say, because after all these Walmarts hanging out with me, you're just gosh darn special. And if you want to make it all the way till the very tippity, tippity, tippity end, you get to see what my wife Kathleen's going to whip up for us with the ingredients in the mini waffle maker. I'm super excited. If you're excited, can I get a hoo-ya, hoo-ya, hoo-ya. <laughs> What? I'm so tired. I'm sorry. Hoo ya. Hoo ya. Excuse me. What? Hoo ya. Hoo ya. I'm just gonna start saying that to people I don't know. I'm like, excuse me. And they look over at me and be like, hoo ya. Hoo ya. It's my short way to say, who are you? Yeah, whatever. You know. What I mean. As you can see, it's getting dark out, but it's Walmart number 11 time, and you can't stop Walmart number 11 time because that's what we're here for the ingredients. Here we are, Walmart number 11. It's game time. You made it till the end. Hoo ya. Hoo ya. You nasty. Do you remember what my wife Kathleen said? I genuinely don't remember. It was mozzarella cheese shredded. I thought it was mayonnaise. I don't think it's mayonnaise. I really can't remember. So let me be frank for a second. And as Frank, what I want to say is first, we're going to dabble in the clearance section a little bit. Then we're going to get the ingredients. Then we're going to head home because I want to see what this masterpiece looks like. So here we are inside of Walmart number 11. And if you're still watching this and you've watched it all the way up to Walmart number 11, you are a total savage. If I was there, I'd be patting you on the back with two hands. So I'm looking around. We see some gardening gloves. We see some suntan lotion. There's like dishwashing stuff. There's a thing where you can shave your face, some collagen support. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Bye-bye germs. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, should we just go get the ingredients? Should we just go do the thing? I thought about it and I have to admit, I got a little bit of tired stuck in my eye. And then I came to the conclusion, my hat is Easter egg green. So we should just go do the thing. Yeah, yeah, let's go do the thing. 
So keep in mind, she didn't specify the brands. I just know she wants it to be low carb. So I love Ken's Steakhouse dressing, but the regular ranch had two carbs. The buttermilk ranch had only one carb. So I have to go with the buttermilk. I don't even know if it makes a difference. I don't know if I could tell. Then for the pickles, same thing. I had no idea what kind of pickles she wanted me to get. So I just went to my go-to. These are the pickles I always buy if I was choosing. So if you want to copy me, these are the ones. To put into perspective how tired I was, I was looking for the shredded mozzarella in the pickle aisle. I'm extraordinarily reckless. I felt like I was in a movie, like everyone was watching me. I hope this is an inspiration moment to you because this just shows if you put your mind to it you can do anything so I got home and I rolled up on the wife with all the ingredients she cut up the pickle that's the first thing you do you cut up the pickle then you make a pickled cheese waffle you put the cheese on the waffle maker then you put the cut up pickle then you put the cheese over that pickle right and then you're gonna close the waffle maker to get it cooking then you want to use the massager you have to use the massager that's number three she said no I say yes then you want to remove the pickled cheese waffle you want to make it slap on the plate listen to this slap it on the plate then you want to say yummy you have to say yummy number six you slap a little ranch drizzle on the plate and you're done you gotta Look, eat the thing i'm way too tired for whatever that is who's trying it first y'all all right let's go we're gonna try it now come on it's not that bad this is low carb right yep if kathleen's name was barbara she'd be low cobra barbara what do you guys think these people hung out for 11 Walmarts for this right here. Total disappointment, right? Total disappointment. All right, so here's the thing. I'm super unsexy. This is Kathleen. You are magically delicious. You came here for the whole 11 Walmarts. You had the food with us. You were here the whole time and you subscribed. We have a lot of new subscribers in this video. Thank you so much. I might get down on one knee and propose asking you, will you subscribe to me for life? I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, I love and appreciate you so much. If you watched the entire video, let us know by telling us in the comments which of the ingredients is your favorite. Cheese, pickle, or ranch dressing. You drop that bad boy in the comments and we'll know you stayed till the end. You're very special to us. I'm super on sexy. Kathleen, say bye-bye. Bye. You are ridiculously amazing. I mean, I'm sorry, Kathleen. These people be looking nice. Uh... See you soon. Bye. So what'd you do all day? Took care of the kids. Clean the house, laundry, you know, the usual. You do the real work. I'm a mess. No. I can't believe these people hung out with me today. You having some of this? Mm -mm. I ate the whole thing. If, if people were watching this right now and they saw I ate the whole thing, they'd probably make fun of me, call me a pig. No, they wouldn't. They call me nasty. No. Like, you nasty! The camera's still on. <laughs> <laughs> Later, alligators, crocodiles. See ya.